Hello and welcome to your CMY302 practical course. My name is Hendrik. This is my email address, hendrik.vanderpol at up.ac.za. And you can email me for all practical related queries. We will provide you with a practical guide which has all the details that you will require for the course. And you can familiarize yourself with the due dates rules and regulations um, and how to submit your practical reports all of those are in there as well as some general report guidelines um, on how to write reports etc other information will be given through ClickUp, so please monitor that for any announcements um, and hence being un unaware of arrangements is not a valid excuse as you know that all reports must be typed fully. No handwritten work will receive a mark other than zero. A mark of zero will be given to mark that or work that is submitted that is of a handwritten form. Right, so that's it. So we'll look at a few um, other points now in the practical guide itself, but that is the base idea. All right, so in your practical guide, you'll see there is a lot of stuff, but most important things are starts here at this general information where we tell you that all your reports are basically a sum of their totals and they're divided by the total mark multiplied by 100. That gives us a practical percentage. That percentage then is converted to a mark out of 30, which counts alongside the 70 of the theory mark. And that gives us your semester mark. Right, the sub minimum of 50% for the practical course is required for exam admission. <clears throat> and of course, a sub minimum mark of 50% for the entire semester mark is also required, or 40% is also required for the exam admission. Um, our practicals are in the Green Lab Chemistry 331. On Mondays and Thursdays subgroups which you will choose on ClickUp you will assign yourself you will choose a day and a subgroup and we'll from there practical exemption you can email mr. Lekitima regarding this uh, here's some guidelines on how we uh, allocate that but the most important thing here is the calendar and you can look at your rough calendar see when what is you should notice that the Thursday group starts here with their uh, first experimental practical and goes all the way through there while the Monday group starts there and goes through there however everyone starts with experiment 6 here at the start of the course and only hands it in at the end of the course so that means you have the entirety of the course how many weeks are that one two three four five six seven eight eight weeks to complete experiment six assignment so please start working on it now work with, on it throughout the course all the video material uh, material uh, materials are already available um, on youtube as well as in the guide so please may use it work with, on it so that you submit on time and you don't have to worry about it come the week of the 28th right other important things here are breakdown of the deadline. So if you did a prac on the 30th, then you need to submit on the 7th, for example. Or if you did it on the 12th, then you will submit it on the 19th of September. And so on. And all the way to practical 6, which is experiment 6, the computational practical, which has a submission deadline of Monday 4 November at 11. All right, all submissions are by a turn it in and handwritten work is not accepted. Our penalty system is a, as in place as always. You know how sick notes work by now. A sick note needs to be valid. It needs to be given within three working days of the date of the activity. And it needs to be an official sick note, meaning a f uh, an official diagnosis needs to be given on the note. You are also your teaching staff um, and their details. Your coordinators or your demonstrator details will be given here once we have them and some general details on how to write your practical reports uh, he listed here also here uh, a roster for you to follow once you've chosen a day and a group so for example you're on Mondays so then your A 
and then you have decided you are group three on a Monday so group a three then you follow this roster here okay there's some learning outcomes for you to read through and importantly before your first practical session there is a plagiarism agreement and a laboratory code of conduct that you need to complete before the first practical session you need to be in a practical group you need to have watched the relevant experimental and pre-practical lecture videos you need to have done the pre-practical test on ClickUp you need to have completed your MSDS uh, uh, summary and flow diagram summary of the experiments which will have for you will be marked on at the beginning of the session and then of course you need to have your prac manual and the correct lab where all right finally on this page you will notice a Google Drive folder which you can click on and this thing will open to a page which you can see um, contains uh, the different uh, what do you call it references and data uh, files that we provide you with so for example for experiment 3 there are something for experiment 2 not for everything but for those that they are it takes it to you for you okay moving on to the experiments you know there is a pre-practical lecture video to watch so your screen will open to YouTube um, to YouTube that you can watch um, the video experimental video and it reminds you of the pre-practical test you do this for all your experiments very lacquer you just move on you do your preparations of your MSDS and your flow diagram in these spaces provided for each experiment and you should be good at the way end um, here you see experiment 6 has the same idea it has videos for each question that you can go through you can work through on your own time that's why you can do it whenever suits you you don't have to wait for someone to invite you to do experiment 6 you can do it in your own time but in appendix a i give you how to write reports and here i literally say what we use the memoranda we use to write to mark your reports so you can go and check here for that memoranda ensure that you once you've written your introduction then you can go read ah how will my introduction be marked and what section i lie and roughly what mark will i get if my introduction is out of 10 this is of course just an example so it's not specific um yeah you can also further on then there's a more detailed description of report writing that you can follow and the more detailed version um, isn't uh, that important but it's also there for you to go through there are some ones where there's different options of wording um, that you can use the different wording so for example um, anything like between use them but comparing to items it helps you to know when to use what kind of language what kind of words where and also give you a periodic table so that you can use for the course okay so that is it um, most important parts please make sure that you know that what where are that you are where you need to be and you do the preparations as you are supposed to and that will ensure that you get a high mark for the practical course okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in the lab